This is Danny Searle after Solihull Moors 3, absolutely united nil. What's your take on that, Danny? I, I think we were lucky to get away with 3 nil. to be honest. If you look at the game, I mean, full credit to Solihull, sometimes you just have to hold your hands up and go, they were the miles better side tonight, and they were. I think when we went in at 1-0 at half-time, we'd rode our luck so much. They could have comfortably been 4 or 5, and you think, well, maybe that gives us the chance. We've been, we can't be that bad again. Uh, and actually, I thought we started the second half a lot better. But they get the they get the second goal, and I think that from our perspective, the third potentially was always going to happen because we were trying to get back in the game. But look, from a from a standards perspective, we were nowhere near our levels tonight. And as I said, we just have to own that and take accountability for that. And and obviously congratulate them on our good performance. But I thought we made it far too easy for them. Was the drop off tonight because of the fleets? I don't know, lack of a contribution to the game or was it just because Solihull were that good? I think there's an element of both. Obviously, they're a really good side. They've just, they've just got to Wembley and you don't do that without being a good side and they're, they're fifth in the league or well, potentially fourth in the league tonight. I don't know what the results were elsewhere, but so it was never going to be an easy night tonight and I think we have to remember that when, we, when we're talking to the boys in there. We are a relegation battling team against a team that potentially could be in the Football League next year. So there's always going to be that... that that potential gap in, gap in performance. But I think there's a combination of two. They're, they were very good on the night, but I also think we contributed to how good they were with the amount of space and time that we gave them. How do you get the fleet players to respond after tonight for Saturday's game at home to Altrincham, which is now a massive game? Yeah, look, we, we've, we've done it before. We've, we're fortunate that's only our second defeat since we've been in. So, look, we, we had reacted really well to our last time that that happened. So, we'll make sure that the boys are right. And, look, you, you don't like losing games. But I said when I came in, we have to understand that we're going to. We're going to lose games. We're going to lose football matches. And it's about how we react and how we bounce back from that. And so far, we've done that. So, I mean, the proof will be in the pudding on Saturday. But... From my perspective, I've got no doubt that you'll see a better performance on Saturday against Altrincham. Tonight's result obviously is another game gone by, ticked off. The games are running out. You've got games ahead of you next week. Could be complicated with Halifax having problems with their pitch as well. I mean, it's a very uncertain last week of the season ahead of you, isn't it? Yeah, and like, I think look, we've got a five-point cushion from the relegation zone. Um, I think we've still got a game in hand on some teams, and there's what. Some teams have only got two games to play. Um, so, look, I think from our perspective, we just need to make sure that, as you said, we bounce back and we get something from the Auctioning game. I'm, am I disappointed with the boys tonight? Yeah, I am. I am disappointed with them because I know we're better than that. And, and I'm really disappointed for the, the 87 fans that made the journey today because they didn't stop and they gave us a great reception after the game. And I think that that's, they're a credit to the club. But I'm not going to batter them because the bottom line is they've been outstanding since, since I've been in the club. And... You're entitled to have, have an off night and unfortunately too many of our players had it on the same night. Well, let's hope you come back to winning ways on Saturday. Good luck on Saturday. Amazing. Bad luck tonight. Yeah, amazing. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.